Hi guys, it's me Swastik and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install and set up my SQL. We will also connect Python to it so that we can execute SQL queries through Python. So let's start. First, we will search for my SQL installer and click on the first link. You will also find this link in the description below. Now you can choose your operating system. For me, it's just Windows. I would recommend that you download the 400 MB version. Just click on the second download and you do not need to sign up. Just click on no thanks and download the file. Once the download is done, you can click on the installer and this will open up the setup. First, we need to choose an installation type. We will go with the developer default because it includes everything that we need. So you can click on next. We don't need these products actually. You can click on next and skip. So just click on yes. So these products will be installed when we click on execute. Just install them and don't worry if anything fails. If the connector fails, we will be installing that anyways again. So just wait for this to complete. So everything got installed properly, nothing actually failed. So we can click on next. We can click on next again. Now in networking, we don't need to change anything. You can change the port number to 3307 or 3308 if you want, but by default it is 3306. We can click on next and this should be fine. For the authentication method, we'll be just using the recommended one. Click on next. Now we need to set up a password for the root account. I'm just gonna keep it root and Make sure you remember this password. We will also create a user account and I'm just gonna call this pass. The password can be root again and click OK and then you can click next. Now what this says is that it will run as a Windows service in the background. So if you don't want this, you can turn it off. I'll just keep it on and I'll also keep this on so it'll start up whenever my system starts. You can again turn this off if you want. Then you can click on next and then you can click on execute. So as you can see, everything was successful and we can click on finish. Now you do need to do some other stuff as well. Click on next and for the router configuration, we don't need to change anything. We can just click on finish. And again, we can click on next. Okay, now we need to enter the password for the root, which is just root. Click on check. And as you can see, the connection was succeeded. And we can click on next again and click on execute. Everything was successful once again, and we can click on finish. And we can click on next again. So basically we can either use the workbench or the shell. We don't need to start anything right now. Just gonna uncheck this for now and click on finish. I'm just gonna actually show the workbench for now. Click on finish. And as you can see, this is the GUI version. And if you wanna do it through a command line interface, you can use the shell version. Click on your local instance. Password is just root, click on OK. And as you can see, this is the workbench. We can basically write our queries here if we want, but we won't be using this a lot. We'll be just using Python. So you can close this for now and we can open your command prompt. In the command prompt, we'll need to install the connector. So it's pip install mysql connector and Python. So mysql hyphen connector hyphen Python and just wait for it to install and once it's done you can open your text editor i'll be using sublime text so i have my main.py file open in sublime text i will import my sql just to check that it works i will actually run the file you can run the file in sublime text itself the shortcut is Control b and as you can see it finished in 0.1 seconds that means it works we'll need to import the connector so my sql doc connector and the connector has a function connect now we will need to obviously have mysql.connector.connect for this and let's store this in a db variable and inside the connect we will need some parameters. The first is the host. The host is going to be, since we are hosting this on our local host, it's just going to be local host. So the user is going to be the root for now. You can also use the user account. And the password, which is passwd, will be root for me. We will also, actually you can run it now just to check that you have no errors. The database has an object, which is a cursor. So we can actually have something like my cursor. You can call it whatever you want. My cursor is going to be db.cursor. This is a function. We can execute the SQL queries through this cursor. So we can have my cursor dot execute 
instead of these quotation marks anything that we write is going to be sql so we can create a database so create database for now we can just say test database and as you can see sublime text notices that this is sql and it highlights the syntax your text editor might not do that but sublime text does this so it's fine and let's save this and let's run this and see if it works and as you can see, it works and we don't get any errors. You can actually remove this line. And if you want to access that database, you can actually pass this in as a parameter as database is test database. You can save this and we can run it again and it works. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll meet you in the next one. Goodbye.